I just took a three hour nap. My body was like, it's funny, I was in the Uber on the way home and I was like, I'm not tired, I feel great, my body's already adjusted. And then I get here and I did a little bit of work. I got like the essentials done that I had to get done. I had to send Carrie an outline for one of the modules for my mastermind. And I had to finish outlining my podcast, had to send my web developer stuff. And then I was like working on extra stuff, laying in bed. And then I was like, so we here. It's okay though. So Val Valentina is coming and Emily Duncan's coming and I'm so excited to hang out with them. I have not spent time with either of them in quite some time. So I'm excited to see them and I'm excited to explore, but I just took this first day as like, let me adjust my body slash finish up stuff. So I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the weekend. So that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and Valentina and I are gonna go to the gym. I got a good uh, session in last night. I just did a little bit of cardio. And what I did was I did a jog for like 30 to 45 seconds or so and then do an incline walk because I'm so used to just doing incline walking or like moderate intensity cardio where I'm not like challenging myself or I'm doing hit cardio, which is sprints, but like I'm not a good runner, which basically just means I don't practice running quite often. So like my body's not used to it, which is I'm not not good at it. I just don't prioritize it usually so I'm gonna prioritize running a little bit I have one moderate intensity cardio session a week so that is what I'm gonna be doing for that because I would like to be a more well-rounded athlete and I would like to actually feel like I can run without wanting to die so today's my high carb day I'm not eating a whole lot before the gym but I am gonna have a bite of this I'll tell you guys what it is after I try it a few inches later mmm that was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cookie dome Kit Kat bar. Thank you, Europe, for being awesome. It's my high carb day, I'm tracking that. But high carb day, squats, shoulders, let's go. Leg out. I actually only have like a short period of time too, so what I'm gonna do is skip filming my warm up sets and I'll just get straight into the working sets for you guys. If you guys watched last Wednesday's video, you guys can watch my entire warm up. I have a whole entire dedicated video on that, so go check it out if you haven't already. We're gonna get into some squats this morning. Hey okay, guys, here's how I'm feeling after my warm up sets. My back feels a little eh, and the weight feels kind of heavy. I'm just a little dehydrated and then travel and stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is instead of 180 for four sets of six, which is what I should be doing, I should, I'm gonna do 165 because that's like what feels really good right now for my first set of six. And then I'll add weight from there depending on how I feel, and then I'll just do one extra set. So, I'm supposed to be doing four sets, so I'll just do five sets just to get like the right volume in or whatever. majority of my lifting career training legs three times a week because I really wanted to build up my legs. And now that they're there, <laughs> little did I know that they grow like weeds. Now that they're like pretty much where I want them to be in terms of muscular development, my program is not really lower body focused. Aside from squats, I'm doing conventional deadlifts, which is less lower body and more like back and lat engagement. It's definitely lower body as well. Aside from that, I'm not doing too much lower body hypertrophy work, guys. So I'm here trying to, <laughs> trying to help. I'll do my absolute best to show you guys different kinds of things that I'm doing. But at the end of the day, that's just my program and this is Project Me and I want to help you guys get through your project 
to you in the best way that I possibly can. My message here is that if you have something you want to focus on, make your program based around that. So if you're trying to grow your legs, put them in your program three times a week. I wouldn't do more than three or four. Two or three is probably plenty for you guys. Yeah, my program is very upper centric and not so lower centric. I'm not trying to grow too much muscle down there, but I still want to be strong. And so my squats and deadlifts are plenty. morning here in London our gym that we're going to this weekend shout out to fitness first it's fitness week so we get our gym all for free the whole weekend which is so nice you don't have to pay a fee took a shower I feel a little bit better um, we're headed to explore today and I'm super excited because I've never been to London so many things to see we're just gonna be the most touristy people today and even when people come to Los Angeles and like they want to be tourists I'm like it's okay it's worth it to go see all the touristy things and just be a tourist and it's fine big vlogging camera we have Emily Hi. and Valentina we're all ready to go I'm excited it's my excited face so excited. this is the tourist bus that we're getting on Hop on, hop off. We're on the top of the bus, about to see some sights and stuff. No, no we're gonna get more touristy than this. So American. We have a map. <laughs> North American. Give the video a like if you really like that Mary Kate and Ashley movie where they're in London. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? Um. That would be great to know, but... <laughs> winning London! I didn't remember. Give the video a thumbs up if you like Winning London. Yes, and uh, What a Girl Wants with Amanda Bynes. Yeah, winning I London was movie. such a good movie. I miss Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. I used to like watch every single one of those movies because I was a twin. Oh, I am a twin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was. <laughs> Lindsay and I like were obsessed Lindsay. with Mary Kate and Ashley. I was Mary Kate, she was Ashley, oh, always. <laughs> I was like, I have to what? fit that in. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. I normally don't like purposely fit candy in. Sometimes I do, but not like very often or anything. And I was like, oh, I have to try that. But either way, we are at a restaurant now getting some lunch. I'll probably get a salad here. <laughs> so this is the chicken and these are the potatoes. Looks delicious. Ooh, thank you. Do you have veggie 
Yeah. So unexpected stuff happens when you're traveling and going out to eat. Everything's definitely covered in oil. I'm just gonna go with the flow and just like over. I have like 10 grams of fat left for the day after what I've already eaten, so this will just cover that. And then I just won't eat anything else for the rest of the day. But it's okay. It's for the experience, and I'm not gonna stress about it. This looks delicious. I'll probably take the skin off the chicken and probably eat a little bit of the veggie. <laughs> but no problem because tasty. Is London wants you to give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> London is telling you to. <laughs> this little store and they got rolls, just like you can buy them all separately. Isn't that cool? Ooh. We are in the London Eye. I've been waiting to go on this <laughs> Valentina. This is the one thing I've been wanting to go on so bad. Oh, I feel like taking pictures on this thing will have to do it. Sorry, I'm getting into wacky. Because like for most girls it's really hard to kind of ask this couch feels really nice. Alright Ben, this is Ben. He's very muscular and funny but in a very sarcastic way and he has a YouTube channel so go check it out. Sassy is what we would call Ben. Did she, did she say that to you when you said the sass? The yeah, British sass. sass, yeah. He's got some British, British sass, it's hard to say. So this is kind of turning into like a full day of eating but I skipped a little bit of what I had for breakfast but anyway I had one of these. Um, these are like 15 grams of carbs for one. I don't know if you all can read that. For one pancake, 15 carb, two protein, and two fat. And I'm officially out of fat. Um, I already tracked chicken from Nando's and I'm just gonna get a salad. And then I'll eat the rest of my carbs when I get back here, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I have potatoes here. And I guess you can't get potatoes or rice or whatever there without like a bunch of butter in it already. So chicken and salad it is, making it work. Still had an amazing day. This is like something that I do quite often, especially when I'm traveling. And like if I'm traveling and like this was happening and I wasn't dieting, I probably would just kind of not really worry about it for the day. But again, it's been like one week and I don't wanna just go off just, just yet. I still wanna make progress while I'm here because again, it's been one week and I don't have to justify myself to wanna do that. So I'm still like enjoying myself every step of the way I'm still having fun with friends I'm still going out to eat I'm still like taking advantage of all opportunities that I have while I'm here so just message of the day your trips or your events that you're going to don't have to be super food focused or food centric you can still make things work and still make progress like you don't have to stress about it you don't even have to track your food and still make progress but just being aware of what you're eating if you still want to like focus on it to an extent, like you kind of have to go back and forth with how much do you really want to like continue on making progress or how much do you want to just simply live and enjoy the experience. It's really like one way or the other and there's like little tiny niches in between or little notches in between where you can kind of turn it up and be really strict and turn it down and just not. Either way, it's supposed to be a fun time and you're not supposed to let food control your life. We're gonna head to dinner and I'll show you guys what I get. Oop. Why you no focus? I got my first Nando's experience. I got a sweet potato quinoa salad with chicken, so it's pretty low fat. And this will be my last meal of the night. 